Oh, sorry. Hello everybody, it's me MCG here and welcome to another discussion and speculation video. Wow, I haven't done one of these in a long time. On today's discussion and speculation video, I'm going to be talking about a bunch of Season 4 stuff including episode titles, episode descriptions, and I'm going to be talking about two trailers that both Disney XD and Disney Channel posted um, today um, to, you know, push the hype for Season 4. This is going to be really interesting to talk about since Season 4 is the final season and I'm just wondering how they're going to wrap this all up and how they're going to... I don't know how how the season gonna end and how the season's gonna push forward with new episodes and stuff and I'm just like ah ah can't help but scream somewhat. So let's get started. We're talking about the episode titles. In the month of March alone, we'll be getting a lot of Star vs. Season 4 content as we're basically getting a double bill of episodes every single week. The first two episodes are 22 minute episodes and those episodes on March 10th are Butterfly Frolies and Escape from the Pie Folk. And I've got the descriptions right here of both of those episodes. So the description for Butterfly Frolies is Star and Marco go in search of Queen Moon, which is a very simple description, but this is like the beginning of the finding Queen Moon to restore the kingdom and also Star's family. We got an clip from Butterfly Frolies in um, in the Comic Con sneak peek so I'm looking forward to see that episode but I'm also looking forward to see um, Escape from the Pie Folk which the description reads Star search for her mum takes her to the home of the Pie Folk where she must outwit them in order to reunite her family. So yeah, this double bill of episodes on March 10th is going to be about the search for Queen Moon and maybe her memory is gone or uh, like, you know, because there is an episode on there straight after called Moon Remembers. Oh boy, my prediction is she's going to get amnesia and it's going to take her a while to remember who she is, what her heritage is and you know who Star and River are and everything and just it will take her a while to remember so you might be getting flashbacks maybe this is my prediction you can get flashbacks to I guess previous moments with Star and her family just to get Moon to remember who she is. Other episodes on March 17th consist of Swimsuit, Ransom Gram and Lake House Fever. I have no predictions of these episodes I, I don't know what's gonna happen in either of them um, same for the other episodes such as Yada Yada Berries, Down by the River, The Ponyhead Show. I mean, The Ponyhead Show is obviously about Ponyhead. Um, judging by one of the promos though, it could be, I don't know, a selection of programs that Ponyhead wants to put on and then it's like, oh yeah, it's The Ponyhead Show and it's just like, you know, different programs, like TV. I don't know, but that's judging by one of the screenshots I saw from one of the promos, which I'll talk about in a minute. But yeah, there's also uh, surviving the spider bites. Probably a lot of spider bites that needs to be avoided. Uh, but the episodes I want to talk about are in the March 31st slot. Oh boy. Oh boy. On March 31st, we got Out of Business in Kelly's World, which I'm really excited for Kelly's World because I really like Kelly's character and I can't wait to see more of her. But. The next episode after that, Curse of the Blood Moon. We're finally going to get an explanation. <laughs> We're finally going to get context. I don't know, because the Blood Moon has been looming on our two protagonists for seasons. For three seasons. We've been seeing it pop up everywhere when something connected to Star Unlocker happens. So what's going to happen to them? I have no idea. This is going to be interesting to see what this Blood Moon's going to do to cause havoc. Or what Star and Marco are going to do. Are they going to go out on a date? Are they going to push their relationship, see where it goes? I don't know. But this is telling me that this is going to be a Star and Marco centric episode. And oh boy. Oh. I don't, I don't know. I, mm, oh boy. Oh boy. So overall, judging by these episode titles, I think this season is going to be an emotional rollercoaster just like the other seasons were. And yeah, there's a lot to look forward to, so I cannot wait to see these episodes in March. Next, we're going to be taking a look at the promos that Disney Channel and Disney XD put out for Star Versus. And first, we're going to look at the Disney Channel promo. 
So we start this promo off with Star and Marco all comfortable on the couch, eating their pancakes. What a nice, calm way to start this promo. Also, I just want to point out that Marco's line in the beginning of this promo was today is going to be perfect, which is, is cute. Just, just them two sitting on the couch, having a day to themselves, eating pancakes. That's, that's really sweet. That's really sweet. Star vs. The Forces of Evil is coming to Disney Channel. <laughs> Those screens were me internally. Anyway, we got in a few bits and pieces from that little section. Um, when Star and Marco were watching the TV, we got in to see Star using her normal blast with her hands, her new inner powers. We also got to see Ludo and Eagle scaring up a fright with her monster screaming. We also got to see Star screaming with Tom looking into... <laughs> Tom's like, what the heck, Star? Oh, God. <laughs> This is the person you're currently dating, Tom. What are you gonna do about it? Also, side note, I really like Tom's shirt right now. You also get to see Ludo in his bonbon outfit and him in space, so we're probably gonna get a backstory about what he did in space all that time. Next, we got to see more of Star's inner powers coming into fruition and oh boy, she looks mad. She really wants her mum back. She really does. And this is probably from the Pie Folk episode where she gets really, really angry. We got quick snippets of a monkey checking somebody out. Ludo's previous gang of monsters on their own adventure. River with a group of thrown up monsters. The return of adult Marco with a bunch of ghosts. And Jenna with her, oh gosh. Jenna with her own Marco army. What is she going to do with all those markers in her disposal? I have no idea, but she's going to cause so much terror. I cannot wait to see what the context of this is. My guess is though that this is all a dream that Marco's having, but who knows, maybe this is real. Next up, we got Star even look like she's hiding something or she's clutching her hand in pain. We got Star and Moon riding a Warnacord with Moon looking absolutely terrified. I'm going to take a guess here that this scene is from Moon Remembers. We got Star turned into a butterfly form, a shock star, and also Star using her hands as a weapon. Well, the magic from her hands anyway. Fly. Wow, Star, that was cold. Also, I don't think Meteor is letting go of Marco's hand anytime soon. Watch the final season on demand and in the Disney Now app and on Disney Channel Sunday, March 10th, starting at 8. It's over? I never got to show off my dad's recipe for tortas ahogadas. Oh, poor Marco. I'm guessing that this clip is from the Ponyhead show episode. Only Ponyhead has the guts to cut Marco for time. How dare she? But I really like how Marco and Kelly have their own cooking show to begin with, so that's pretty cool. Even if it's only for one episode. So that was the Disney Channel trailer for Star vs. Season 4, and overall there was some very interesting stuff in there. However, the Disney XD promo, there's a lot more stuff. And oh boy. Oh boy. There's some bits that repeat from the Disney Channel trailer to this one, so I'm going to be skipping over those bits that we've already seen. But I'm going to cover the bits that we haven't seen in the Disney Channel trailer. So let's go over to the Disney XD one. That's right. Already we got adult Marco, Nachos and Star and they're going on adventures and it's cool because, you know, Star never really went on an um, adventure with the adult Marco in this particular dimension before so this is going to be exciting. Maybe we'll see Hekapu again. Who knows? We see Star and Marco fighting knights in the castle. After that we see a quick snippet of Ludo's head and after that we see King River eating the chicken leg and Eclipsa doing one of her spells. Speaking of Eclipsa, I wonder what she's going to be doing this season. Judging by the end of last season, I think she's all set and set in Gob Gore 3 and looking after Meteora from the ground up. Also, she's the ruler of Muni now after the events of last season, so there's that as well. Overall, I cannot wait to see what role she has this season. After a few more snippets of stuff happening this season... Wait! What was that? Go back. Go back to that. Are you flipping kidding me? We're going to get flashbacks of the Blood Moon Ball now with these two. Oh my gosh. Oh. Oh no. My prediction is that this is going to be in the episode The Curse of the Blood Moon where we actually get to see the history of the Blood Moon and how it came about. And it is about these two's relationship as I already said before in the video. And I'm excited to see what the context of this is because oh boy. Oh that looks interesting. 
After some shots that we already seen from the other promo, we get to see new shots of Ludo and Eagle, adult Marco fighting a new foe, Kelly and Marco being a badass team like holy moly! The Kelly's World episode is looking pretty good right now. Eclipse are coming down from either using a spell or preparing to use a spell. Star using some kind of magic force shield on her and Tom, meaning that they could have been under attack somehow. We also got a few more snippets of what's happened in the season, such as Star and Eclipse are hanging out with each other. Star drawing over Marco's abs, Star protecting Marco from something, I don't know. And there's a lot more to come, including Star and Marco possibly going on a date. The possibilities of where this night can go only intrigues me to when this episode comes out and which episode it is. My guess that this is the Curse of the Blood Moon episode, so it's going to be even more interesting what happens to them then. I mean, for all we know, this could be a platonic dinner and maybe it'll turn to something more later, I don't know. And that is all for the Disney XD promo. Overall, I'm, I'm looking forward to this season, I really am. I'm intrigued of how this whole series is going to end and just intrigued about what journey we're going to take within this season alone. Yeah, it's going to be pretty interesting. It's going to be pretty interesting. And that is it for this discussion and speculation video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you guys in season four. It's only a couple weeks away and if you excuse me, I've got to prepare myself for this final season. I don't know what's going to be thrown at me, so I need to try and prepare as much as I can. Even though I know that no matter how much I prepare for the season, I'm always going to be thrown off by something and I'm always going to be drowned in the fills and yeah, I, I still have to prepare myself anyway. Bye guys. Bye.